Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 4, this is equal to 120. So what is the value of x? Now, solution from here, we'll have x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 4, okay, multiplied by x plus 2. Multiplying by x plus 3, this should give this is equal to 120. Now, the next step is that we'll have x times x. This is actually x squared, then x. So we have x times x, this is x squared, plus x times 4, we have 4x, plus now 1 times x, this is x. Then 1 times 4, this is actually equal to 4. We close the bracket here. Then here, we have x times x. This is x squared. x times 3, this is plus 3x. Then plus 2 times x, this is 2x. Then plus 2 times 3, this is 6. Then this is equal to 120. The next step here is that we have x squared plus 4x plus x, this is 5x plus 4. You cross brackets here. Then here we have x squared plus 3x plus 2x, this is 5x, then plus 6. We can express 6 basically as 4 plus 2. This is it. So x squared plus 5 squared plus, we can express 6 as 4 plus 2. This is equal to 120. Now, if you check this part here, this part is the same as this here. So we can say that let m be equal to x to power 2 plus 5x plus 4. Let's substitute m here. So we have m times m plus 2. This is equal to 120. The next step is that m times m, this is m squared, plus 2 times m, this is 2m, this is equal to 120. Let's take 120 on the left hand side, so that here we have m squared plus 2m subtract 120, this is equal to 0. The next step here, from what we have here, we have the product as negative 120 and the sum is equal to 2. So let's identify two factors that you can add to get 2 and multiply to get 120, negative 120. So here we have 12 and minus 10. So let's substitute this. So here we have m to power 2 plus 12m subtract 10m minus 120, this is equal to 0. So if you check here, we can factor out m, so that here we'll have m plus 12, subtract 10 and 10 is common here, so we can factor out 10. Into the bracket here, we have m plus 12, this is equal to 0. So here we have m minus 10, then we have m plus 12, this is equal to 0. So essentially here, we'll have two parts. We have m minus 10, this is equal to 0. And the second part here is m plus 12, this is equal to 0. So m1 is equal to 10, m2 here is equal to minus 12. Okay? So, if you recall, if you recall, we are saying that let m be equal to x squared plus 5x plus 4. What we have here, this is what we have. So that now, let's start with the first m1. So, so here we are saying that let m be equal to x squared plus 5x plus 4. Starting with m1. We can have x to the power 2 plus 5x plus 4. This is equal to 10. 
So the next step is to take 10 on the left hand side so that here we have x to power 2 plus 5x plus 4 minus 10. This is equal to 0. So here we have x squared plus 5x. Now 4 minus 10, this is minus 6, this is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation where a is equal to 1, b equal to 5, and c equal to minus 6. Now, <clears throat> so for the values of x here, that is x1 and x2, we apply the quadratic formula that is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all this divided by 2 times a. So let's substitute the values of a, b, and c. So that now here we have minus 5 plus or minus the square root of b squared, this is 5 squared, subtract 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is minus 6, all of this divided by 2 times 1. So here you have minus 5 plus or minus, we have the square root of 5 squared, this is 25, minus 4 times minus 6, this is plus 24, all of this divided by 2. So here you will have minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 plus 24, this is 49, divided by 2. So this is equal to minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 49. This is the same thing as 7, divided by 2. So x1 will be equal to minus 5 plus 7, divided by 2. So this is the same thing as 2 over 2. And this is equal to 1. This is what is x1. x2 is will be equal to minus 5 minus 7 over 2. And this is actually negative 12 over 2. So this implies that x2 is equal to minus 6. So x1 is equal to 1. And x2 is equal to minus 6. So this is the first set of solution that we have x1 and x2 now let's proceed here we have that m2 we have that m2 is equal to minus 12 so we have that m2 is equal to negative 12 and given that x squared plus 5x plus 4 this is equal to m, that is m2. So this is the same thing as equal to minus 12. So that now here, we take minus 12 on the left hand side. So you have x squared plus 5x plus 4. Now, if you take negative 12 on the left hand side, this becomes plus 12. This is equal to 0. So now we have x squared plus 5x. 4 plus 12, this is 16, so plus 16, this is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, this is equal to 0. So this is, Now, from this quadratic equation, we have the value of a equal to 1, b equal to 5, and c equal to 16. So applying the quadratic formula, that is x3 and x4, this is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of, this is b squared minus 4 times a times c, divided by 2 times a. So now let's substitute the values of a, b, and c. So here we have minus 5 plus or minus the square root of b squared. This is 5 squared, subtract 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 16. Everything here divided by 2 times 1. So the next step here, we have minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared. This is 25. Subtract. This is 16 times 4. 
and this is equal to 64 divided by 2. So now here we have minus 5 plus or minus the square root of. Now you find that we have 25 minus 64. This is equal to 25 minus 64. And this is equal to minus 39. So divided by 2. So this implies that here we have minus 5 plus or minus. We can express the square root of um, negative 39 they essentially as 39 multiplied by minus 1 divided by 2. So this is the same thing as minus 5 plus or minus. We have the square root of minus 1. This is i then square root of 39 divided by 2. So in this case, we have two complex solutions here. The first one, that is x3, is minus 5 uh, plus i square root of 39 divided by 2. And we have x4. This is equal to minus 5 minus i square root of 39 divided by 2. So these are two complex solutions here, x3 and x4. Now, we only have we only have two real solutions here. We only have two real solutions here. That is x1, which is equal to 1, and x2, which is equal to minus 6. So let's verify that these two real solutions actually satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall here, if you recall, we end at x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3, x plus 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 120. Let's substitute x1 here. So here we have 1 plus 1 multiplied by, here we have 1 plus 2. Here we'll have 1 plus 3. And here we'll have 1 plus plus 4, this should give us a value of 120. 1 plus 1, this is 2, multiplied by 1 plus 2, this is 3, multiplied by 1 plus 3, this is 4, multiplied by 1 plus 4, which is 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 120. 2 times 3, this is 6, 6 times 4, this is 24, 24 times 5, this is equal to 120, and this is equal to 120. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And therefore, this implies that x1 satisfies the equation. Let's check x2, which is minus 6. So here we will have, from, from this equation, we we'll have minus 6 plus 1 multiplied by, we have x plus 2 in this case will be minus 6 plus 2. Then we have x plus 3. This will be minus 6 plus 3. Then last three here, we have x plus 4. This is minus 6 plus 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 120. So minus 6 plus 1. This is minus 5 multiplied by minus 6 plus 2. This is minus 4. Minus 6 plus 3. This is minus 3 multiplied by minus 6 plus 4. And this is equal to minus 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 120. Minus 5 times minus 4. This is 20. Minus 3. We have 20 here. Times minus 3 times minus 2. This is 6. So this is supposed to give us a value of 120. 20 times 6. This is 120. And this is equal to 120. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And therefore, we have two complex solutions for this algebra problem and two real solutions. That is x1 and x2 and two complex solutions here. So thank you for watching. Kindly follow the steps, like this video and subscribe.